Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you 10 things that you did not know or are secrets in Nerf FPS. So, it's a good thing that we're starting on the cities map because there's already two here. So yeah, let's get in with the video. The first one here is, behind the purple building, well actually the first one here is, if you, if you're, walking and then press shift you can sprint but then if you press shift twice while walking you can double sprint which is two times faster than the regular sprint or about to actually the second thing is over to the purple building so if you go to the purple building you can see these cars but behind the purple building is a walkway so you can get behind both of the maps. And the third thing is has to do with the bridge. So if you go and actually climb up the bridge Ooh, I got killed. Come on. I'll meet you at the top. Okay, so now that we're here, if you use the double sprint that I just taught you, if you and if you do it correctly, you can actually get over to the other side. With people, which people actually thought was impossible. So if you go here and try to jump on this, there you go, you're on the other side. Now, you can either do this with the double sprint, or if you're playing the new zombies mode, you can use that and use the super jump ability at the perfect time to get to the other side. Now that's all it for this map. So now we are going to move on to another map. The way to get a double tag is, is that you have to get two kills in under five seconds. I'm going to see if I can capture this. It's probably going to be pretty easy for some of you pros, but for some of you new players out there, it might be a bit harder because the guns. And there you go, a double tag. Make sure you do it in under five seconds or else it will become a single tag. All of the weapons in, in, Nerf FPS are mostly real, except for the 1337, which is an added gun to the game. And 1337 in another in another computing language from turning words to numbers means extremely um, extremely good at gaming or awesome. Nerf FPS is almost four years old. If you remember back in the days of Nerf FPS, you should remember that you're not able to cross this. But now, ever since the, Nerf, the, the Humans vs. Zombies update came out, you can now go through them, which means more exploration. If you have seen in my other videos, you know that if you jump onto this rock, and then jump onto the fence backwards. You can do this while you're a human or if you're a zombie, which makes it easier. You can actually go on the fence. And there's actually a chance if you do it, or if you do it good enough, you can actually get onto the other bushes. You can watch my first Nerf FPS video to look at how to do it as a human. If you go down the tunnel here to the castle, you will stop by a mysterious looking wall that looks like this, and it has the cake is a lie. This is a reference to the first portals game, and it's an achievement in Minecraft. If you've played Nerf FPS on the airport map, I'm pretty sure that you know that you can fall off the edge here. But at the corner of this part of the map, there's actually a wall right here. 
So I'm not actually stopping it anywhere. There's actually a wall here that's invisible. So that's all the things that I have for today. If you've learned anything new, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't, also make sure to leave a like. <laughs> and also, make sure to subscribe for new content coming up every week. And make sure to click that bell when you subscribe because on Wednesday I am doing a collaboration with Cool Super Spider One, who is also another YouTuber. So, yeah, thank you guys all for watching and goodbye. Make sure to click the video down in the left hand corner so that you can watch another one of my videos and click the circle and press the subscribe button to subscribe instead of going in the description. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.